Some of it we can't talk about. That, that, didn't, that, that didn't happen. That never happened. I'm erasing no, it from my mind. No, no, that never. I was up here in the Northeast, right? So I was a WWF guy, right, growing up. So the only time we had the opportunity to see you guys down south were probably in the, in the uh, magazines. And I could remember the first time I saw you with that hot valet. I think what was in a Mystic or something like that, if I remember yeah. properly, right? That was the first name she had. Yeah. And then we changed that. I was like, nah, let's just go with, you got the dirty white boy, let's just go with the dirty white girl. Right. Uh, Should have done it to begin with, but it was kind of a, a hurry. In a hurry to get get her out, get you know, and all that. So, so forgive me for this, right? Because I just thought I always thought about this. I remember when I saw it, Dirty White Boy. I'm like, that's probably the coolest name I've ever heard of for a wrestler. And I was like, You were right. <laughs> I think I was. <laughs> but then I thought, Did Foreigner steal Dirty White Boy from Dirty White Boy the wrestler? Did Dirty White Boy steal Dirty White Boy by Foreigner? Well, we're still arguing about that. <laughs> <laughs> wow all right so no, your no. valet where do you meet your valet how do you decide to have her like do you, do you remember how she got involved with you in wrestling um i met her in pensacola florida and uh uh bullet bob armstrong and uh ron fuller were the two main bookers and Robert Fuller books some too, and uh, but they are all owners of it. And uh, a bullet come and said, "Hey, you know, have you ever thought about having a valet? You know, go with you and all that, and work a good angle with you know." We, they was wanting to bring a girl in, and I said, "Well, okay." So one thing led to another. We got together as far as white boy and white girl, and. The rest is history. 